Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. Today we're going to look at test three, section four, number eight, which reads, the average number of students per classroom at Central High School from 2000 to 2010 can be modeled by the equation y equals 0.56x plus 27.2, where x represents the number of years since 2000 and y represents the average number of students per classroom. Which of the following best describes the meaning of the number 0.56 in the equation? So you underline the important information, always what the variables stand for, the equation, and what the equation means in this case. So <clears throat> when you have this type of a question, you should know y equals mx plus b. And it's not asking about B, but if it were, B is always initial. If you see the word initial or the word starting, you know it's your B. M or slope, you're going to be looking for the word per, or you're going to look for the word each or every, or it might even say a, uh, like this many a day or a year or something like that. If we go through your answer choices, keeping that in mind, the answer choice A, the total number of students at a school in 2000 is going to be wrong. Answer choice B, the average number of students per classroom in 2000. C, the estimated increase in the average number of students per classroom each year. And D, the estimated difference between the average number of students per classroom in 2010 and 2000. So each of those have the word per in them. So where do you go from here? Well, you might know that slope is its increase it increases or it decreases in this case as time goes on so if we look at answer choice b keeping that in mind the average number of students per classroom in 2000 so that is static that's just one year that's not reflecting an increase or decrease <clears throat> answer choice c the estimated increase in the average number of students per classroom each year that makes sense. It's talking about an increase and the slope is positive. It would be decrease if the slope were negative. So that actually looks like a good answer. If we look at answer choice D, the estimated difference between the average number of students per classroom in 2010 and in 2000, that's not going to be your correct answer. Anyway, either that would be if you plugged a zero in for X or if you plugged a 10 in for X to see what it is. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble picking apart linear equations to see what stuff means. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. You'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.